I just look at a couple of examples of electron configurations of ion type questions. And the first one is write down the electron configuration of S, uh, Se2 both full and abbreviated forms. Is it isoelectronic with, noble, with any noble gas? If so, which one? Is it diamagnetic or paramagnetic? This last part, diamagnetic or paramagnetic, has to do with how many unpaired electrons it has. And if it has unpaired electrons, it's paramagnetic. If it has paired electrons, it's going to be diamagnetic. And this uh, paired and unpaired electrons business is what will contribute to a substance's magnetic properties, unpaired electrons being mag magnetic or paramagnetic and, uh, and paired electrons being diamagnetic. All right, so let's look at how we could figure out the electron configuration of Se2-. And the first thing we would do is we would get a periodic chart. And you can see where Se is on the periodic chart. It's at 34. And the way we would do this is we would uh, we would go let me uh, move this up so we can see it better. All right, so we're going to start at one s two, two s two, two p six. Remember the p start at two. 3s2, and this would be 3p, so it's 3p6. And then we go down here with 4s2, and we'll go uh, over here. This would be 4s2 is right here, so we got 3d10. Remember the d start at 3, and then we've got se will be 1, 2, 3, 4, so this would be 4p4. All right, so that's the full electron configuration for selenium. Now, if I want to figure out what it is for Se2-, what I have to do is I have to add two electrons to that because it's got a negative charge. So negative 2 means two electrons, which means this becomes 4p6. All right, so that would be the full electron configuration for Se2-. Se and you can see that the best way to do that is to do selenium first and then figure out how many electrons to add or subtract. You're always adding electrons if it's negative and subtracting electrons if it's positive. All right, now the uh, abbreviated form of this would be we go back to the nearest noble gas to selenium, which would be argon. And argon takes up 18 electrons, and 18 is 2, plus 2 is 4, and 6 is 10, um, plus 2, plus 6 is 18, so it stops right there. And the rest of it will be the rest of the electron configuration. Alright, so that would be the abbreviated form of the electron configuration for Se2-. Is it isoelectronic with any noble gas and the answer is yes because we can say that we've got 18 plus 2 is 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 6 is 36 so we've got 36 electrons and that corresponds to krypton so yes it's isoelectronic with krypton That doesn't make Se2 minus krypton, it just means it has the same number of electrons as krypton does. Alright, so the next thing we've got to do is figure out if it's paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Well, if it's uh, the only place we could ever find unpaired electrons is in this very last shell, the, the, um, the highest energy shell. And the reason for that is because we have to fill these using the Aufbau principle, which means we start at the bottom and we work our way up to the top. So that any unpaired electrons, if they're present, will only be present here. But we've got 4p6, and if we fill that in just as we normally would, we've got 6 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We find out that that's a full shell and there's no one paired electron, so that would be considered to be diamagnetic.
Okay, let's take a look at the next example. And we want to figure out what SE2 plus looks like. Well, we go through, we'll do the same thing again. We've got 1S2, whoops, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D10. Now, for regular garden variety selenium, it would be 4P4. Since it's SE2+, plus, we're going to remove two electrons from that, and we're going to make it 4P2. So SE2+, plus is going to be this 4P2. And the electron configuration in abbreviated form would be 4S2, 3D10, 4P2. All right, so that's for SE2+. Plus. Is it isoelectronic with any noble gas? And the answer is no, because this would be 18 plus 2 is 20, plus 10 is 30, and that's 32. So it's not isoelectronic with any noble gas. No noble gas has 32 electrons. So the answer is not isoelectronic with a noble gas. All right. Next thing we want to do is figure out if it's paramagnetic or diamagnetic. And what we do again is we just concentrate on the last shell, the highest energy shell, and that would be 4p, which is going to have three orbitals in it. And we're going to put in one, two electrons. So what we have is two unpaired electrons, so it is going to be paramagnetic. 